happens of 9-11, one young Florida girl wrote her first book at the age of 12. Coming up at 6, we'll meet the young author who's being featured in St. Augustine today. Plus, more on how the First Coast is remembering the terrorist attacks of September 11th. And how a four-legged friend is helping people with diabetes. Getting a book published, that could take a while, but one young girl wrote her first book and she was published before she was ever a teenager. She's now 16 and she says the events of 9-11 definitely impacted her. First Coast News' Jessica Clark has the story from our Southern Bureau tonight. Nancy Yifon of Gainesville missed school Friday to speak to other high school students in St. Augustine about writing and her own success story. She's only 16 and she has written two books, Sword Bird and Sword Quest. I was inspired uh, by 9-11 and many other events to write Sword Bird. Fawn moved to the U.S. from China when she was seven, and she visited the World Trade Center months before the towers collapsed on 9-11. I was in third grade. Um, it stayed in the back of my mind, and so I guess um, that's the way children handle things. They keep thinking about it and trying to find a way to deal with their emotions. Fawn says those emotions, her love of birds, and a dream one night prompted her to write. Before she knew it, she had a 200-page book with birds as characters and a sword-wielding protagonist. Fawn even learned how to use a sword to better her writing. From my research, I realized that uh, if you have experience in doing something, suppose um, you have, you're very good at a sport or something, when you write about it, it's probably the best, um, it, it flows more naturally to you. She encouraged teenagers her same age to write and be excited about what they do. Eight years after the events of 9-11, she says everyone wants a sword bird or a hero, but heroes are often people near you. In real life, we don't have a sword bird. All we have is each other, and I think it's important for us to, you know, create that sword bird by under our understanding and friendship. In St. Augustine, Jessica Clark, First Coast News, your news later. All right, thanks very much. What a young woman there. You can meet Nancy Yifon and many other Florida authors this weekend. They're part of the Florida Heritage Book Festival. It's today and tomorrow in downtown St. Augustine. For hours and directions and a list of events, you can just go to our website, firstcoastnews.com. Under the News tab, all you have to do is click on...